Today we're going to talk about progressive overload. Hey guys, thank you so much. If you're a returning person to watch this tip, I thank you so much. I appreciate you a thousand percent. Okay, if you're a new person to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, so you can get more tips like this. Okay, that can help you towards your fitness journey. All right, and uh, also. If you like this video at the end, go ahead and press like, okay? Progressive overload, what is it? Progressive overload is pretty much putting your body through a series of systematic stress that forces it to adapt and grow and get better, right? So if you do one thing, if you lift 100 pounds for the first time, it's very heavy. After the second time, it's heavy. But after 100 times of lifting 100 pounds, it doesn't become as heavy. And that is progressive overload. So every time you train, right you want to make sure that you create an environment of difficulty right not too hard 100 pounds may not be the best example not too hard or hard enough to create to force your body to move into a systematic series of changes okay so you take that concept and you lay it out into these different options option one you can increase the volume so what does that mean? So instead of going from 20 pounds to 30 pounds to 40 pounds, right? Increasing volume means is that you, f you focus less on the poundage, on the weight, and you focus more on the muscle itself, right? So for example, you want to increase the volume of your chest, right? So instead of doing 100 pounds more doing chest, how about you do your regular dumbbell chest press and run right after you do push-ups, right? So you increase the volume, the amount of work the muscle in question has to perform or, or, or exert, right? And then by doing so, the volume becomes much bigger without having to increase the weight, okay? And the progressive overload of that concept is, you know, you go from from the dumbbell chest, regular dumbbells, right? With the push-up, right? You can, and then you can go back to your dumbbell chest with a lower weight. Still the same exercise, still the same muscle group, I'm sorry. Still the same muscle group, okay? Right? And bigger volume without having to increase the weight, okay? The second option that you have is increase the rep, right? So the rep range is very, very simple in terms of concept, right? So instead of doing uh, 10, 10, 10 reps at 20 pounds, you do 20 reps at 20 pounds. And the progressive overload of that is just increase the number of reps, okay? But just be very careful when it comes to reps. You don't want to go too fast. You want to keep a steady tempo of about 1.5 to 2 seconds. What that means is that it should take you 1.5 to 2 seconds to complete the full motion either in the concentric phase or eccentric phase, okay? All right. And the, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Those are your three, two other options that you can go ahead and create progressive overload. In other words, that you can use to improve your, uh, your muscle mass without having to lift heavy. And, uh, and once again, that's very important because not everybody is able to lift heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier, you know, because there's pros and cons to just lifting heavy, but that's, that's for another video. And, uh, and that's it. All right. I hope this tip helped. And I hope, uh, you know, when you go to the gym, you can give it a try, maybe an increase in volume or increase in rep. Just make sure that you exert, you exert the muscle through its full range of motion. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for stay, you know, sticking here and, and listening to the tip altogether. Um, and uh, uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and please like. If you didn't like the video, like. And, uh, <laughs> uh, um, and that's it, that's it, you know. Follow me on social media uh, at the NF Training. And of course, I have awesome services that can help you into your fitness journey. So check it out. Check my website, anftraining.com. And then I'll see you next time for the next step. Thank you so much. And you have an enjoyable training.